on this week's GTA 5 o'clock. Could November the 14th be the release date for the PC, Xbox One and PS4 versions of GTA 5? Could PS3 players be getting a free upgrade to the PlayStation 4 version? And could more strip clubs and comedy clubs be coming to GTA Online in the form of new DLC? Find out in this week's GTA 5 o'clock. Hello and welcome to this week's GTA 5 o'clock. I'm your host James Jarvis and I'm joined as ever by co-host Dan Dawkins. Hello. Hello Dan. Fresh off our PPA award vict- oh wait, hang on. No, of our attendance of the PPA awards, uh, we didn't win. But that's okay, because we didn't want to win. Yeah, that's fine. Congrats to the guys at Hosing and Piping Detail <laughs> Weekly, or whoever won. Your I'll be honest, UI. when I knew it didn't, they didn't say GTA 5 o'clock, I mentally clocked out. <laughs> Uh, never mind. We move on. Move Thanks on. for your support. Yes, thank you for all of your nice tweets and messages throughout the day. Anyway, that was very nice of you all. Uh, but let's move straight in to GTA 5 news and the possibility of a PC release date being leaked on one of our sister sites, PC Gamer, picked up on this. And it was from a retailer who thinks that it might be coming out November 14th, Dan. This might mean more if you're from Denmark, this is where the retailer is. It's Cool Shop, who listed the game as being on sale on November the 14th. Now, uh, the interesting thing to note is that, yes, briefly, it did appear as November the 14th. Shortly after, the date was taken down and put back to a sort of generic date, wasn't it? Yeah, it went back to, like, the gen generic uh, December 31st, which is what they use for all of their games that haven't yet been dated. But... Having a look at the release date's calendar, obviously this will apply to the PS4 and Xbox One's versions as well. We'd assume that they'd all come out at the same time. There is a gap around November 14th that a giant game like GTA 5 could fit in. Yeah, there's two things to isolate. One is like, why did they change the date from November the 14th on the website? Uh, it could be because, hey, yes, they accidentally put the real release date and somehow knew and had to change it because good grief they've given up Rockstar's plan or the work experience kid typed in a date it got accidentally picked up by a global site like PC Gamer and became news when it wasn't supposed to be so they were forced to change it so you can read that either way like James just hinted at the more important thing is that it's actually possible to kind of map where uh, GTA 5 could arrive by looking at what the other players in the market are doing what is clear is that not a single big game not even your Call of Duties or your assassins will want to come out on the same day as as GTA 5. It's too scary for them. The fear is that, you know, GTA 5 will just hoover up all the sales that, that week and uh, negatively affect their game. So when you look at the global release schedule, um, right at the end of October, which is again, you know, a potential date for GTA, you've got um, Assassin's Creed Unity coming out October 28th. Now, you know, again, you're unlikely to see Rockstar wanting to go head-to-head -head with that. November the 5th or the 4th, you've got Call of Duty. Mm -hmm. Now, even Rockstar, you know, whilst they could, out of you know, strength, just go, we're launching the same day as Call of Duty, we're going to go in there, and they could do that. Even themselves, they're more likely to say, well, let's, you know, strategically move around it. Now, there is a big gap, as like we just said, around about November the 14th, Friday the November the 14th, that's the day games usually come out, you know, in the UK. Yeah, in Europe. Yeah, in Europe. So um, it just makes sense. And then, like, after that, you've got Far Cry. Um, there's lots of games positioned around that date currently, perhaps in knowledge and or anticipation of GTA hitting as a sweet spot in that time in November. Um, it's, it's difficult to cite precedent. You know, when GTA came out on PC, GTA 4 came out on PC, that was, like, a December date back in the day. Uh, when GTA 5 came out on PS3, it was September. Mm. I think everyone knew and just had to move away from it, and not that many games came out in September anyway. So there's a lot of plausibilities that it could be November. It's not a factual, confirmed thing. No, something to bear in mind, though. And also, I guess, if it does come out around November the 14th, it would be in line for Christmas number one, which would be nice as well. Yeah, you've got to say it's, it's exceedingly likely to be Christmas number one. I can't think what would be bigger than it. No. Destiny. Destiny. Destiny will be out. It's the ace in the hole, but that'll be out for three months. Whether yeah. it can maintain its momentum, mm. we'll see. We shall see. Okay, well, let's stick with the uh, next-gen versions of GTA 5 for a minute and talk about a couple of images that we've been sent from different sources, one of which was Tim Marker on Twitter, 
and East seen that on the US PlayStation Store, the PS4 version of GTA 5 comes with a little free tag on it. And he was speculating whether if you owned the PS3 version of the game, you'd get an upgrade to the PS4 version for free in some kind of deal. What do you think about that, Dan? I mean, that would be pretty amazing and fairly unprecedented to get literally a free game. I mean, there's a couple of ways to separate this again. Um, could it be... And there, there was Sony, you know, Sony announced GTA 5 on Next Gen at their conference. Are Sony and Rockstar working together on some kind of deal? Now, you know, a, a deal could take the shape of, hey, you know, your PS Plus guys can get access to either, you know, simply you just get free GTA 5 or free GTA 5 if you already own it on PS3. Mm -hmm. It could be a deal like that. Um, or it could just be... Um, like has happened, we saw in the previous sort of cross-gen period with games like uh, Battlefield 4, was it? Like, you could trade in your PS3 copy plus $10 or whatever it was, yeah. and you upgraded to the next-gen version. So there was like saying to people, still buy the PS3 game, that's fine, because you can upgrade in a few months. Mm. There's been lots of online grumbling about... People have said, frankly, ludicrous things about, screw you, Rockstar, I'm not taking part in a PS3 beta trial from GTA 5 when the real game launches 14 months later. Like, to describe GTA 5 as a beta trial, well, that's some beta trial. Yeah, that's quite the trial. Yeah, no, I just think that's like a sort of a madness argument. And whilst I agree that it might be a little bit rum to expect people to pay another $50, like a scheme like that would massively smooth over and, and the key thing is ultimately Rockstar want you to transition because what they don't want is the online audience living in equal sizes in different places so if there's like a PS3 audience Xbox audience an Xbox One audience PC audience a PS4 audience they're going to want to push as many as possible towards the next gen systems as you know time develops so they can incentivize that by schemes like we've just mentioned and of course if you are going to make the leap to the, the new gen versions when they do come out, all of your progress from GTA Online will be carried across. So you won't have to worry about having to rank up again and all that kind of thing. So if you are thinking about making that leap, don't worry. All of that online progress will come with you. All right, Dan, let's get back to current gen now. Uh, PS3 and 360 versions of the game and some new information, we're going to say, about some possible DLC that may or may not be coming in the future. This has come again from uh, Dormish Live has spoken about it on YouTube and uh, Gamer Ranks have reported on it online. And it's about the possibility of having some new strip clubs and possibly comedy clubs coming to GTA Online. Now there is already a strip club in the game, obviously. Uh, there are two more I think in there that you can't as yet enter, but there has been some images of floor plans come out where you can see where the tables and the pole and the stages go and things. And also the comedy clubs, you can see where all the seats would go. Uh, so those are two things that may be coming. I guess on their own, they don't really add much to the whole GTA Online experience. Like why would you need another strip club if you've already got one? Comedy clubs will add something. You could update that possibly monthly or every half a year with some new acts or something like that, if you wanted to do that kind of thing. But I think the thing to note is that these, if they do happen, could be part of a larger part of DLC, like maybe featuring the casino, they could call it Sin City or whatever they wanted to call mm. it, and you'd get some new strip clubs and the casino, and I guess just shoehorn comedy into there as well. Yeah, I think that that probably makes more sense, to, to suddenly drip feed in oh, we've accidentally released two new strip clubs. It just feels a bit weird and random. Mm. But as part of a sort of like, you know, Sins of the Night or Pleasures Pack or something like, say, Sin City, something like that would make sense. And, like, people have long wanted a casino. The casino's in the game. It's not really active. You know, that would make more sense as a concerted package. And for that casino to have the coming soon sign that we've seen for ages on it, I mean, it has to come soon at some point. It can't be there forever, right? It's coming soon, isn't it? Technically, soon, soon never comes. No, it's always soon. Yeah. All right. Uh, so, yeah, let us know what you think about having some new strip clubs and comedy clubs as part of a, a wider DLC package in the comments below. While we're speaking of online, uh, the GTA 5 o'clock crew had a crew battle with uh, 
the YRA Seven, I think they're called. Yep. Uh, they lost just so narrowly. Yes, they did. Uh, they lost by seven, uh, nine points, I think, in the end. Uh, so yeah, it's five hundred eighty-three to five hundred ninety-two in the end. Uh, so good uh, battling, guys. Hopefully, we'll be able to hook you up with some more crew battles in the future, um, and maybe we'll come along to one of them and uh, either drag the team down or just spectate and make comments. Yeah, I think spectating and and jokes, <laughs> jokes <laughs> could be the limit of the. Uh... Yeah, all right, in interaction there. Okay, let's move on to the our Snackmatic competition, which is always full of brilliant jokes and stories. Uh, last week's theme was party time. I have to say, we didn't get a huge amount of entries for this one, uh, so we've only picked three out that we think we're gonna we're gonna talk about. Uh, the first up we've got here is let's start with uh, Michael Wilson. Now. I thought this was a really nice image of what normally mm. happens when you're having a party mm. is either you're in a club and loads of people go outside to smoke or you will end up just hanging around outside a club chatting uh, for a long time. Yeah, I mean, it's it's quite a cool, moody scene. One typical to anyone who's ever been to a nightclub. I like the guy checking his clipboard. Mm. That's pretty cool. Reminds me of that old song, The Bouncer, where he'd go, your name's not Dan, you're not coming in. Remember that song, the old rave song? No. Well, anyway, the chorus sounded like your name's <laughs> was not he caught me? your name's not Dan. <laughs> you're not coming in. <laughs> right. I always thought, well, that's brilliant because yeah. I'm I'm the only guy in there, <laughs> apart from a few other Dan's. Yeah, it's just be a Dan party. Anyway, that's that picture for you. That's the best thing I could say about that. Picture. Okay, uh, next up then is is Jonathan Terry, and he's having, well, he's got, gone for a party time on his own with just a bottle of the old JD. Yeah, this is what uh, the CCTV camera caught of me after the recent Independence Day live streams, I retreated <laughs> back to my pad. Just my thoughts, bottle of whiskey, sadness, uh, and, and that's a really typical scene from my home. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, okay, but let's move on quickly. The winner this week has to be uh, Jake Standen, and he has gone all out party time with uh, Dex in his bedroom. He's just lost in the moment. Sweet. What's better than a one-man party time? Who needs friends? Exactly. When you've got a pair of mixing decks and a giant pair of cans. He's having a brilliant time. So we endorse this. It's actually a really lovely, well-framed shot, and it's got a good animation in its movement. Yeah. He's probably listening to that song. Your name's not Dan. You're not coming in. Do, 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 do. That wasn't how the song went, but oh. mentally I went off on a tangent. Oh, I was getting into that then. It yeah. sounded really good. All right, uh, so congratulations, uh, Jake Standen. You are our winner of this week's Snapmatic competition. Next week, got a brilliant theme for you. We want a few more entries than we got last week. I think this is going to be quite difficult to do, but we might get some stunning pictures from it. It is Stunts Gone Wrong. Whoa, boy, reality TV excess. Go That's for right. it. Stunts Gone Wrong, a.k.a. every stunt I've ever attempted. That's right. You've taken the joke right out of my mouth, Dan. Yeah, OK, I just thought I'd get in first. Well, speaking of stunts gone wrong... Yes. Let's move on to Challenge Dan. <laughs> uh, last week's challenge was pretty good. I think you succeeded, didn't you, Dan? You were yep. very good. Easy. Uh, you stole all those police cars. Uh, so this week, we're going to modify Marky Ronson's challenge, and he suggested that you crash... 20 planes or cars in 10 minutes. Now I'm going to modify that slightly, Dan, and say you have to crash 20 different planes or cars within 10 minutes. So you're going to have to steal 20 different vehicles, let's say. Let's call them vehicles. 20 vehicles in 10 minutes, and you have to crash them. All right? Okay. Okay, let's jump into GTA and see how you get on. Yeah, I crashed it already, though. I'm going to go for like a big thundering speed crash. Through the windscreen. Is losing a bonnet crash enough? It's definitely a crash. Okay. Right? It's one vehicle crashed, right? Fine. Next vehicle. Oh man, I've come to the most deserted area in all of uh, Los Angeles. <laughs> I can't get in it. Okay, here we go. Back downtown. Oh, look at the tub. Hey. Nice houses around here, isn't it? Not many cars, but no, nice no houses. cars, but loads of lovely houses. Hello. No, I'm not gonna. Oh, Harsh, eh? Harsh. I like the way he said, no, I'm not gonna, and then immediately punched you in the yeah, face. Yeah, no, I didn't think about it long. Soft top, yeah, you can have. get the soft top. Oh, she got a cool hat on. Yeah. Well, she's moving on the streets now. Bah! Rubbish crash, really. I mean, all I've done is loosen the front. Ding. Yeah, nothing has really happened. Bah! I can now crash the bus. Get out. There's a crash happening. 
I like it's the Carney's hot dog van. Reasonable hot dog in there. It's all right for the money, you know, not bad. Ba 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 bus crash. Wow, you've crashed into a tree. This sub. Get out. All this women you've been uh, it isn't, pulling out of It cars. isn't a discrimination issue. It's simply a statistical outlier. Oh, look at that thing to crash. It's not every day you get to see that, is it? No. Get out. Get out. I'm like crashing the Vinewood bus. What could be more savage than this? It's very slow, though. Yeah, go left. Go in the city. And then right. That's left. Left, yeah. Buff, buff. So far, rubbish collisions. Burnout would be ashamed. Another woman. Unbelievable. This is, this is getting unbelievable. unbelievable. I'll do one like where I go flying over the cliffs. I'm going to end on a big leap over the hills. Okay. Oh, look. It's the Vinewood bus. It's crashing at me. That's, That's a good better. Crash. That's a good crash. It's a bloke dead. Yeah. yeah, he's died at the wheel. He's not, he doesn't need that car anymore. I and mean, that's clear. Go over his legs. Did he leave? Oh man, oh, savagery! No. People are horrible. Bosh! That's reprehensible behaviour. I'm gonna die probably, am I? Oh, oh Michael! <laughs> Funny that though, isn't it? Oh, more ladies. Two ladies this time. Sick. It's another vehicle though, isn't it? Yep. Piss faster. Imagine how nut bar did this in real life. Never do this. It's insane. I don't really know what your plan is. Weaving around, making people really angry. I'm going to say you've done eight. I, I think you should aim for ten. Yeah. I'm just saying that the crashes aren't as spectacular as I imagined in my mind. Because slow vehicles are rubbish at crashing. It is to be more exciting now. Oh, oh dear. Oh, man, well, that's, that's Rex. This car's absolutely cooked. And this is the one you want to throw off a cliff up that hill. Oh my god, what the hell are these? This is perfect. Thelma yeah. and Louise style. <laughs> Weirdly worked out. That's better. Yeah, yeah in a tree. That's what you want. Oh dear, he's bailed out. Oh no. Well, you're not getting up from that. Well, Suicide. I, I think we're going to say that that's uh, uh, not a success. Oh, right. Not a failure, but not a success. Yeah, it's not a success. Uh, so yeah, if you've got any better suggestions for Challenge Dan, put them in the comments below. Get in touch on Twitter at GTA V O'Clock or on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash GTA V O'Clock. And don't forget to send us your Snapmatic pictures of stunts gone wrong for next week. And we will see you back here uh, next Wednesday at 5 o'clock GMT.